how does your company handle data management? In this day and age, organizations can't succeed without making database decisions. A company's ability to compete in their industry is driven by how well they can leverage data, apply analytics, and implement new technologies. One of the biggest problems that businesses face when transitioning to a data-first approach is managing the sudden influx of that data. In order to truly capitalize on this, companies need to develop roadmaps for collecting, analyzing, and managing their data. Today we'll be going over six data management principles that can help companies structure their data management processes. I'm Raid with Jotform, let's get started. First, you'll have to create a data management strategy. Without a plan for your data management, you won't get very far in the process. It's important for organizations to build a solid foundation with a data strategy that provides an outline for using that data. Here are the key components to developing a data strategy. Start by defining a vision and roadmap for data usage. Then identify which data to use, as well as when and how to use it. Plan for the storage, security, and documentation of all data and ensure that you have high quality data. With these elements, you'll be able to create a blueprint for managing an organization's data throughout a project's life cycle. Next, define roles in the data management system. It's important that you clearly assign roles to individuals within the data management system. Data management is a team effort and everyone's role is unique yet interdependent. The three most common roles that need to be defined are data owners, data stewards, and data custodians. Data owners are the ones accountable for the data. They give the authority on who gets access to it and how it is used. Data stewards are in charge of the quality and meaning of the data. And lastly, data custodians oversee the archiving, recovery, maintenance, and security of the data. They are not responsible for analyzing it or using it to make decisions. When everyone understands what their role is within the data management, then they can successfully perform their duties within the process. The next important data management principle is controlling the data throughout its life cycle. When you have the proper policies and procedures in place, organizations can make sure that data is stored, validated, and managed until a project ends. At this point, the data can be archived or destroyed. There are six total steps in data lifecycle management. Data creation, which is where you capture and acquire new data values. Data storage is where you process the data without taking any value from it and store it so it can't be altered in any way. Data use is laying out who can use it and how. Data sharing is governing how the data is shared. Data archiving is how you store data after it is no longer useful. And data destruction consists of destroying active and archived data that is no longer needed. By following these life cycle phases, your organization will get the most value from your data. Another crucial data management principle is ensuring the quality of your data. You can only make meaningful data interpretations with high quality data. In order for your data to be considered good, it has to be accurate, timely, non-repetitive, complete, and consistent. Data that has these characteristics can lead to positive business outcomes like more informed decisions, more profits, and a competitive advantage in the marketplace. One way to ensure that you have quality data is by developing an organized data system that both profiles and controls all incoming information. The system can also check the quality of data against predetermined benchmarks before the data is accepted. After that, it needs to move through a pipeline that consistently reinforces the quality of that data. If there's bad data going in, then bad data is coming out, which is why you have to build data sets using only the highest quality data. Next, it's important that you collect and analyze metadata. If you don't know what that is, metadata is data that describes another set of data, which helps users gain a deeper understanding of it. It allows you to keep track of all aspects of the data, including how it has been collected and analyzed. You'll also have insights into the content, characteristics, and use of the data. Metadata is a crucial part to any successful data program. 
With metadata, you're able to efficiently classify and organize your information. When you overlook or ignore metadata, you can diminish the quality and value of your data, which is why most organizations developed a detailed approach to managing metadata. Our final data management principle is to maximize the use of your data. The rest of the principles that we discuss won't matter if a company doesn't maximize the use of the data it collects. Data that goes unused has no value. This is why organizations need to make sure that data is accessible and usable for everyone who needs it. There are several ways that you can ensure that your company is doing this. You can start by setting business goals that inform the data strategy. This will ensure that data is actually being used, not just stored. Make sure that you standardize your data collection to create clean, user-friendly databases. Make your data analytics a core competency of the company and educate everyone within your company on how to use data meaningfully. Okay, let's review. When it comes to data management, there are six key principles that you should complete when moving forward. First, plan out a data management strategy. Then, define the roles within your data management system. Have control of your data throughout the entirety of its life cycle. Then, make sure that you are collecting high quality data. Also, don't forget to collect and analyze metadata as well. And finally, maximize the use of your data. Collecting data without actually using it doesn't help anybody, but actually utilizing your data will help your organization immensely. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was helpful. I'm Raid here with Jotform. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.